Hi, this is Little Dwarf playing games while rambling incoherently into a microphone. Why? Well, just because I can, and I continue with the Prisoner of Ice blind. Now, again, I'm a little bit stuck here. I'm trying to get mm, inside the armory, presumably, or, well, at the very least, trying to find the personnel files, but they don't seem to be here. I've looked through this location uh, rather thoroughly, I think, I hope, and uh, there is nothing here apart... well, actually, there is plenty of things here, but it's just that I don't, uh, do not seem to be able to, be, to use any of them. There is this barrel of wine, mm, but uh, I can't use it. There is this... oh, wait, maybe I can fill it... Okay, I can't. So there is that. Uh, I do have this tin, mm, empty by, for some time, judging by the smell. Uh, I thought I might be able to fill it with wine and then, I don't know, get somebody drunk. Uh, there is this grid, which makes this weird waiting uh, animation when I click on it. And then he says, what on earth is this green slime? But I can't really interact with it because it's, it's sealed. And then, most importantly of all, there is this body over here, but uh, Ryan doesn't seem to be willing to elaborate on it. He just says, we owe, we owe him some respect, he suffered atrociously before dying. But I'm not even sure how does he know that, and like, did he know it was here already? And if so, why, why doesn't he like inform me of it? Like, because I'm definitely a little bit lost here. So, I do have this tin and the a key to the self-destruct system of the HMS Victoria, which does not seem to be very useful in my current location. Mm. And those guys Lieutenant. don't really tell me I anything apart I've from uh, directions to the Lieutenant. infirmary I must be high. and the I've box room. Luck, Lieutenant. That closet's a real junk. Hmm. I've been ordered to help Quartermaster Quincy find Ham's son's belongings. Good luck, Lieutenant. That closet's a real junk heap. Okay, so judging from that, Hamson's belongings should be in the box room, but I've searched it and I don't think there's anything left there for now. Uh, and if I try to get into the armory, uh, this guy appears. What is it? And I can't really talk to him. It just says. Uh, he's the armorer, armorer, I believe. Uh, regardless of if I click uh, look at or use, uh, and then after a while, uh, he just closes it. Mm, there is a public notice about the dangers of fire. Excuse me, left. Mm, this is a nurse's office. Maybe I can. What mm. else? And there isn't much here anyway. Like, there is this painting, but I can't do anything with it. There is this magazine, but I can't do anything with this either. There is this painting, which does nothing as well. There is this, which is curious because it says mm, it looks as, the, as if they've hung it upside down, which seems to indicate that maybe it has been moved at some point to cover like a secret switch or something, but I can't interact with it. Uh, I could mm, What else can I do for you? you know, get an appointment. Uh, I've got to see the doctor uh, again. With the doctor, but I Please wait here for a But I've exhausted all of the options before and it didn't really change anything. Lieutenant, the doctor will see you now. You may go in. What now? Although, wait, 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 wait. Maybe I can say that I've eaten something bad, and then when he asks me to point to it, I can show him the empty tin, which is, you know, smelling bad, so presumably he'll think that I've got food poisoning. Show me what you've eaten. You really ate that? <laughs> Don't move. I'll get the medicine you need. Okay, and presumably I can rummage through his... So, what? NZO... Okay, I'm not sure what 
What's that about? Mm, damn it. Take this tablet. Don't hesitate to come back if you don't feel any better. Hmm. Okay, can I do it again? I don't have... Damn it. I... Hmm. I think I might have to reload because I don't have the canteen... Uh, the what team uh, anymore. Uh. But I guess what I'm supposed to be doing is, uh, you know, searching through his office while uh, he's not there. What now? It's no better, Doctor. Stay here. I'll get you another tablet. Uh, okay, microscope, uh, assembling manual. Okay, that might be interesting. Uh, assembling manual for an old weapon. Uh, anatomy drawing. Uh, nothing special about it. Uh, can't do anything with it. Microscope. Uh, conducting experiments. Okay, that's interesting as well. Here. Don't hesitate to come back again if you don't feel any better. We'll try a stronger drug next time. Hmm. Okay, I picked up this... Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Okay, I think I might be onto something here. Because, maybe, because it says uh, it's an old collector's piece. So it's like a, you know, a rare item. So maybe I can use it to bribe the armor into letting me inside the what armory. Is it? Because uh, obviously as an armor, he'd probably be interested. Well, at last someone who appreciates the finer things in life. Come in, Lieutenant, come in! Yeah. Okay. Yes, Lieutenant? I need to consult the personnel files. I don't think so, Lieutenant. Only Captain Sears and Quartermaster Quincy have access to these files. Captain Sears? <laughs> He's handier with the saber than he is with the pistol. Quincy, he came and consulted the file just a while back. Hmm. Hmm. So is he the spy? Did he want to erase some crucial information that would point to him or something? Okay, there's an extinguisher. <laughs> I just straight up took it. Uh, armor of the base. Okay, cigarette. Burning slowly. Mm, anything else here? Bin. Uh, crumpled papers. Can I take any of them? Oh! Okay, I think I... Nice collection of weapons. Uh, weapons are under seal. I think I... Mm, dark corner. I think I have an idea of what to do. Maybe I can drop the burning cigarettes into the papers in the bin, which would preoccupy this guy, which would give me time to sneak into the file room, right? Name, number, what do you want? Ah, okay, there's a whole different guy. Lieutenant Ryan, there's some information I need to find, urgently. Negative! You are not authorized to enter this room. Hmm. Yeah, so that might be a problem, but it's still worth trying. Uh, so use the... still burning. Use the cigarette on the bin. Yeah, which creates a fire, which will make... Ah, it's presumably timed, right? Uh, Hmm. My God, the bin's burning! Why, you're mad! You're a saboteur! I'm notifying Captain Sears. Hmm. Okay, th think I did it wrong, actually. London has been notified of your attempt at sabotage. The court martial awaits you. The Navy knows how to deal with traitors the likes of you. Okay, so I guess they executed me for treason. Mm. But that actually reminds me that I still don't understand what Ryan's position even is, because Sears said that London has been notified 
of my treason. So uh, that would indicate that I'm British, because mm, obviously you can't commit treason uh, towards the British army if you're an American spy uh, working undercover as a British soldier. But then there is this whole Washington part uh, and the Secret Service. So, like, I don't get it. Uh, but still, it was interesting to see. Mm, but the bad part is that I don't think I've saved, actually. Uh, ah, it saved for me. That's, you know, nice. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a fire extinguisher. So maybe I can, like, uh, start the fire and then put it out and, like, be a hero or something. <laughs> that would be kind of funny. Uh, but there's still this dark corner here, which in itself might indicate that this is a place I'm supposed to hide while it's burning, so that they don't connect the dots uh, on me being the saboteur that did it. That, uh, that did it. So, uh, before I do, I think I'm going to save anyway, just because um, I did pick up a bunch of items. Well, actually only two, but still. I'll probably have to repeat that sequence a couple of times. So, let's first try uh, doing that, and then Extinguishing it right after. Why, you're mad, you're a... Okay, that didn't. Love the name. Mm, that didn't really work. Uh, so, how about setting fire to it uh, and then retreating to this quote unquote dark corner and waiting a bit? My god, the bin's burning! Uh, where's the extinguisher? Marsh! Ah. Marsh! What? Fire alarm! Evacuate! It, it, it's going to blow! So, presumably, if I didn't. Okay, I can maybe extinguish it now to give me time to. Although, presumably, they, then they will come back. I'm not sure if I did it. Uh, correctly, but if I didn't take the extinguisher, they would have just extinguished it themselves, right? Um, I'm assuming this is a timed sequence? Uh, drawer. Uh, all the files have disappeared. Yeah, and uh, someone else took an interest in them before me, and uh, it was Quincy, right? That was here before. Uh, there's one card left on someone called Parker. Uh, let's take a look at it. Wait. Why can't I inspect it? Hmm. Uh, left on someone called Parker, but I don't... It doesn't look like I can, you know, inspect, inspect it in detail. Mm. Any other drawers I can open? look like it. It, it. You know, it obviously seems... It obviously seems important, this file on on the Parker guy, but it doesn't look like, like I can do anything else with it. Hmm. Okay, there's the public notice safety regulations. Ah, so I guess the, the safety regulations uh, about fire were a clue to what I was supposed to be doing here. Congratulations, Ryan. You're always in the right place at the right time. Come with me to my office. I have things to tell you. Hmm. The lost Polaris crate has been found in pieces, and the body of one of my men has been found in the closet. You will not leave this office until I have found out what happened on board the Victoria. Well, I guess I don't have the choice uh, but to tell him about it. Mm. I want to know more, Lieutenant. I want to know... Yeah, I can't even exit the room, so 
There is a creature roaming about the base. How did you get rid of the one on the Victoria? With an incantation. An incantation? Under hypnosis, Hampson screamed out an incantation that was capable of destroying the creature. What was the phrase? I had recorded it, but I lost the recorder when I ejected out of the Victoria. The Navy does not believe in incantations. Go back on board the Victoria. It's docked at the base harbor. See if you can lay your hands on some of Hampson's belongings. I am sure the answer is to be found on board the submarine. Hmm, but where is Hansen? Like, it seemed like he was, uh, he disappeared at first and then came back, but why didn't I go and see him? That's one of my questions. And the second question is, uh, I'm pretty sure whoever took all of the files is actually uh, the traitor, but I don't remember, because uh, the quarter, I mean, the armorer said that one of the officers has accessed uh, the files, but I don't remember. I think it was Quincy, right? So, so, so that would be the quartermaster. Uh, but it, it didn't come up mm, in the talk, and I didn't didn't really even have a choice, cause I had to tell him about the monster and the incantation, cause I wasn't able to leave the room otherwise. Mm, mm, to the bridge. Anything else I can do here? There's a gun. Wait, he said something when I clicked. Impossible to go any further. Hmm. Okay, I don't think I can do anything else, so I guess it's time to go back down. Wait, how is it? Ah, no, 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 no. This is to the self-destruct system, so it will not help me here. So what's the deal with the bridge the access hatch? Like, shouldn't I be able to... Like, I was literally ordered to go down there, so... Why can't I do that? Hmm. Oh, wait, there's a cable. Hmm, weighted down by bolts. Again, like, look at it. I would never have uh, noticed that if not for the subtitles. Uh, weighted down by bolts. Uh, but how does that help me? Wait, 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 there's a bar as well. Slightly rusted. Can I break it? Hmm. Ah, and it will create like a railing for me to hold on to as I cross the eyes. Okay. It's weirdly convoluted. You'd think, like I understand, it's dangerous to uh, to walk on ice. But you'd think, if he was really determined, it isn't that large of a space. He could have just crawled uh, on all fours or something, you know, for security, uh, like uh, for, to to get a, a good uh, grasp on the surface or something and to minimize the risk of falling, because obviously if you were crawling, then you can't really fall from a crawl. Uh, <laughs> but I guess, you know, the game needed um, a set piece for a puzzle or something, so that's why it created this part. Uh, floor chest, chest is closed. Uh, piece of metal, a metal object, okay. It's them both up. Oh, presumably I can make like a like a crank or mm, like a crank or a, or a lever or a lever to operate the mm, the hatch at the bridge, right? Mm, marine key. Yeah, that's exactly what I was. What I thought was going to happen. So I guess I have to uh, explore the, the boat again. The radio not working. Intercom. Uh, 
are nothing left. Uh, probably still can't use the periscope. Not that it would... Uh, <laughs> better let Driscoll deal with it. <laughs> only Driscoll is authorized to handle it. Stop. I, it's weird how he says uh, he orders himself to stop inside his own mind. Mm, nothing interesting in this room. Okay. I would rather if the game let me decide that, but oh well. Uh, I guess I'm supposed to check the uh, locker in which Hampson was hiding, right? Because it said, yeah, it said he was hiding in a locker when the fight with the monsters was going on. Uh, these note papers belong to Hampson, so let's uh, take them. Mm. Mm. Sears was right. There are more incantations. Okay, so I was talking with Sears. Uh, so I think it was Quincy that last access to the files. Still nothing here. Hampson's bank. Uh, no one here. Mm, under the bank, nothing here. Uh, torpedo room, can't access it. Uh, this box is still empty. Hmm. So is that literally it? Am I supposed... Whoa! Okay, so... Wait. I thought I'd be able to read... Mm. Okay, that's kind of annoying. I didn't save. Mm. I'll redo that part mm, up until the point I'm back having collected the, piper, the papers and uh, be right back. Okay, so I'm back having collected Hampson's uh, papers. Um, and I saved just in case. But what I'm uh, unclear on is how to use them because I was trying to you know read them to read the incantation to stop the monster but it didn't really work so I'm unclear whether whether that's because as I uh, as I was wondering in one of the previous episodes Ryan doesn't know how to pronounce all of those words but that doesn't really gel with the fact that he uh, seems to seemed to have repeated them uh, um, um, after Hansen, as opposed to just playing the recording, but then playing the recording makes much more sense. So maybe I just, you know, misheard it, and it was uh, Hansen's uh, voice after all uh, in that previous scene. Um, I don't think there's anything else here. So let's try that again. Uh, yeah. Uh, can't we that? Okay, da I die. I died again. <laughs> Maybe I'm just supposed to circumvent it because, like, uh, go past it. Mm. Because I'm clicking to read it and it does nothing, and then I click to read it on the prisoner, and it seems to do to do nothing e as well. So. Maybe I'm just supposed to flee, basically. Like, as it goes... Uh, hmm. Although maybe I can go to like a different level? Hmm. As I click on it, it seems to eat me instantly. So... That does not seem to be the solution. Yeah, I can't even really exit uh, to the other rooms, so that seems to indicate to me that I am uh, supposed to use the, in the, uh, the incantation to defeat it, but I've been clicking at it and it, it isn't doing anything, so I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong here. <laughs> ok, 
Okay, so the only other item I have is this uh, is this uh, key to the self-destruct system, but it seems pretty unwise to use it while I myself am still on board. Like, although, then again, how else would you use a self-destruct system? Like, it's, it's implied in the name uh, that it's going to be used by someone who is already on board to destroy the ship with him. But what I meant to say by it, it seems weird that the protagonist would be willing to do it, but I don't really have mm, any other ideas at this point, so where would I even use this? Hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely, definitely confused by uh, by what is happening here, uh, because uh, I've been, you know, tr it seems pretty obvious based on my past experience that I'm supposed to use the incantation, but it doesn't seem to work. Uh, wait, 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 there's a button. Oh, okay, so maybe I'm supposed to use the key uh, on the self-destruct button somewhere around here. Uh, yeah, I need a key, okay. So, frick. But at the very least, I do have some kind of an idea of what to do. Uh, uh, there's a button here. And pick. And then... Ah! Okay, that's pretty annoying. It's pretty annoying, actually, the way how the way it didn't really do anything. Uh, hmm. Although I guess it was activated because um, it made the sound right, like the alarm sound. Hmm. Okay, I'm definitely confused. Cause, cause. It seems to be the thing I'm supposed to be doing, uh, but on the other hand, it does not seem to have any kind of actual uh, any kind of actual effect, because the monster still kills me uh, right afterwards before um, it has the chance to work. So To flee, right? Stop, Lieutenant! What's up? The, the radio operator's dead, the radio room has been sabotaged, all communications have been cut, and Captain Sears has disappeared! The Victoria has just exploded! Let the Lieutenant pass. My office, Lieutenant, on the double. I took a sample of Hampson's blood. Take a look. So, what? There's something that isn't human in his cells. When they brought me Hanson, he was holding a strange little book. Here. A prisoner of ice cannot cross a doorway unless a line has been drawn across its threshold with the blood of someone possessed. A stone allows you to send the prisoners of ice back into the void. This stone is called the Nar Stone. Hmm. The stone! The stone behind the map!
Hmm. So I guess uh, I'm kind of surprised by the protagonist just instinctively drawing this this uh, this pentagram here to stop it. I probably wouldn't have done that myself if it was left to me, at least not on the first try. But um, I guess this is referring to the map over here and I was actually wondering about that because uh, it's upside down right and wait hmm. Hmm. it doesn't actually I can't actually move it so maybe scratch that like I, I, I was pretty sure he was referring to that and that there's a stone behind it but maybe he actually meant like in the office and there's a needle. Oh, come on! Again, if not for the subtitles, I would have never in a million years, like, actually seen that uh, surgical needle. Okay, I'll take it just because probably I'm going to need it at some point. I'm conducting experiments, nothing here. Uh, the, the, the monsters seems to be trapped. Mm. Uh, but actually, Going back to the monster, because I didn't comment if, mm, comment about it at the time, because I was pretty, mm, you know, uh, what's the word, Ocu occup preoccupied with the uh, whole sequence of events, but it was pretty convoluted and junky in the way it worked uh, back on the MH M HMS Victoria uh, with the monster and the ladder, because uh, like I kept clicking at the ladder over and over, and, he c and the monster kept killing me over and over again and mm, he kept blocking me mm, and to be honest uh, I'm not even sure why it worked in the end like I was doing the same thing is the body still here? yeah uh, I was doing the same thing over and over again uh, and it didn't work and then at some point it just did like I don't understand it uh, there's an armory, can I get some guns maybe? Nope. So I think there's a map here as well, right? Uh, map of the South Pole. A uh, little red point in the center of the map. I don't think I noticed that before actually. Okay, this is pointless because I've been here and down there. So, hmm, I'm a little bit confused because it seems I can't really interact with, uh, well, none of the maps. Uh, I've. Wait, there was something here. I think. Uh, okay, that's just Ryan himself. Uh, there's a bunch of maps uh, in the base, but none of them seem to be, you know, of the interactable kind at this point. Maybe I was not supposed to leave the doctor's office, maybe I um, I needed to pick something up uh, in the room where the monster was in the first place. So there was a bunch of items there. I was just uh, I was just afraid to close in because it seems uh, you know pretty obvious to me that if I do that, uh, it's going to kill me, right? But uh, I guess I can test that. Uh, first I'm going to save, just in case, and then if I close in... Yeah, 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 that's exactly what I thought is going to happen. Mm. So, in this part, I, <laughs> I can't see anything in particular, says the guy looking at a literal inhuman monster. Uh, there isn't really anything in this part of the room. The only thing I have is a needle. Now, there was something about the blood of the possessed, uh, but I can't prick myself, mm, and I pr can't prick the monster itself, so... Unless, maybe I can go past it... 
Mm. Okay, that didn't didn't really work. Maybe I can go past it if I go like down here. Mm, nope. It seems I'm locked into being killed by it because I'm clicking past, but Ryan uh, Ryan is just stopping, which seems to indicate I'm just not supposed to do that. Wait, 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 wait. He sometime, somehow seems to have traveled farther this time. I'm not sure if that's actually like time critical. Maybe I can move between his swings, but to be honest, it doesn't seem too plausible because he's very fast in his attacks. So it's not like a, there's a noticeable, uh, uh, noticeable gap uh, between the attacks or something. Mm. So I'm not sure what's that about. Mm, and I also don't think there's anything. Freak! Didn't want to do that. I don't think there's anything in this part of the room that I can explore. Although I still have the incantations, but they didn't work la the last time. So why would they work now? Yeah, exactly. It does seem to be pointless. Uh, there's still this grate, which I guess it leads to the other side. Mm. Wait, 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 wait. I just realized something. Uh, there's a point uh, on the there's a point on the map, like a s really small point on the map in uh, Sears office, and maybe. Mm, I need to, you know, prick it with the needle to operate some kind of a switch. Mm. Now, admittedly, I only thought of that because I do have a needle in the first place, and it's a bit of a, a bit of a situation of the kind of if all you have is a hammer, then you're starting to look around for something that looks vaguely like a nail, right? So, because uh, there is. It says that there is map of the South Pole, big help, and there's a little, little red point in the center of the map, so mm, I'll try stabbing it. Yeah. Well, okay. And this is the Mnar stone, I guess. Uh, it's a stone. Oh, thank, me, thank you for saying that. It literally says a stone underneath, and then the protagonist is like, it's a stone. Well, gee, uh, it's, a <laughs> it's a secret report. A secret report. It's a secret report. Oh, thank you. I would have never guessed that without you. Uh, okay, can I get it back in its position? Mm, apparently not. So presumably Ryan doesn't really care at this point in time. What about uh, German documents in this dossier? Hmm. So I guess it might be Sears who's the traitor after all, because there is a German spy uh, inside the base. Uh, Stone mentioned in Hampson's note papers. Yeah. So, but before I, you know, try and deal with that, I should probably go and deal with the monster itself. So uh, I need to go back down here mm. and use the Nar Stone, although. It's kind of weird that uh, Ryan apparently knows what to do with it because I don't even know what to do with it. Like presumably he has read uh, Hansen's notes in more detail than the game has let me to do it. Uh, uh, enjoy your stay in hell. Okay. Well, there are some more. Oh, Quincy's card files. Quincy stock. Okay, so it is Quincy who's the spy. He's just been, I guess he's been hiding his documents in Sears office. I don't know, presumably because A, he has some kind of an access to it mm, at some point in time and B, uh, maybe to, as a way, like a fail-safe policy to implicate mm, mm, Sears himself in case they were ever found out, he could blame it on Sears. Uh, 
The files from the base. Okay. I don't know what's happened to Sears, but the encoded documents you found behind the map come from the Schloss Adler Nazi base. Sears was a traitor. Oh. Okay. Quincy had discovered that before we did. I realized that when I picked up the personnel files Quincy would stolen. He'd been investigating for a long time. I'm going to go and have Sears' documents decoded. Good luck, Ryan. I suppose we won't be seeing you again. However, you have done honor to the British uniform. Congratulations, Ryan. The coded documents enabled us to rediscover the trail of a certain John Parker. This man is an expert in magic rites and an old friend of Hamsun's. In a letter addressed to Bjorn Hamsun, Parker mentions a book from the library at Buenos Aires, reference OTR 2832. Find Parker or the book. Buenos Aires, 16th of January, 1937. Okay, so um, is it am I free to explore? Okay, so I guess I got it wrong in the end. Like it was exactly the other way around. It was Sears who was the traitor, but it was you know close enough for. Uh, <laughs> well, obviously, it wouldn't be close enough in an actual real life, uh, you know, covered operation situation if you would accuse the exact person investigating the the treason of being a traitor and then executed him while letting the actual traitor uh, walk free. But in terms of a game, uh, it was, you know, uh, you, you could say it was geographically close enough because uh, they seem to um, like share an office or like at the very least, although I guess probably not, probably the fact uh, Quincy visited Sears office uh, regularly exactly for the reason of trying to figure out uh, uh, if and how exactly he is the traitor. Uh, so, so there is that. Uh, so <laughs> I, I guess in the end it's good that I wasn't uh, called to, you know, uh, make that... Oh, for God's sake, uh, th this game really likes to replay its own intro in the middle of nothing if you uh, don't do anything for a prolonged amount of time. Yeah, but uh, I guess in the end it, it, it's good that I wasn't called to uh, make the decision because I might have executed the wrong guy after all. Now, this episode has been long enough, so I think I'm going to save here and uh, start exploring uh, Buenos Aires in the next one. So that's all for this one and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.